There's so many bomb terminals. There's nowhere for me to toss the bombs. And are all the bomb terminals the ones that used to be turrets? Just a, you know, a thing that maybe could be important to know. Focus on the tour to get bombs. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, no, no, it's not. Well, people needed me to get broken arm parts or severed cables. We'd definitely be doing really good in that department. Oh. Oh. Get away from the explosions. They don't hurt, but they're annoying. This room is very slow in pumping out the enemies. It's just like, how about one more little guy? And another! Maybe one more. Such overwhelming odds. Well, the little brother will be happy. We're doing what he wants. We're destroying all the robots. Though no, they'll be back if we leave and come back. Oop, not that door. Oh, we need a bomb for this one. Do I push this into the hole? What the hell? I guess I'm full of dented metal boards. I'm gonna have to sell this shit. The problem is I have to remember that I'm full on in the first place! I almost made it all the way through without falling. I thought there would be like a second level, but no. You fall, you get teleported out. Now we're on the other side of the area without needing to bomb the place up. This seems like a big room. These guys are so weak, it's it's always a shock when they get an attack in. And ha ha! Kind of a pun. They shock me. Oh shit. Ah! 
now. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, God. Ugh. I guess it's just a magic only death run. Obtained memory alloy. Titanium alloy. Okay. Oh, there's a turret in the hallway now. And that turret will become a bomb. So we can get a faster path out of here. Run with this is pretty silly. The time it took for the door to open. Bullshit. No! What the fuck? We got it! You just- you just need to fucking toss it! And forget about if the door is gonna block it or not. Okay, well we cleared out all this other path. Whoa! We got another minecart turret section! Bring it on! Anyone who wants to fight me will have to fight my rings! Oh shit, never mind! I like how Emil gets to float gently behind me. Good for you, Emil. Constantly being able to fly everywhere. Kinda, I guess, will just join us abruptly later on. Thanks for the random heal, Emil. You know, I guess these little guys, the floating robots, aren't that new. I said they were new. But I forgot about the fact that we probably encountered them during the first time we did the minecart section. But it's not the same as fighting them in a whole different environment. Still flying after me, huh? If you can make it over here, I'll bring you to your doom. I kinda. Is this gonna be a boss fight? No, but we did get an ominous loading screen. Which means there's a lot more to this upcoming place. Another robot! Ugh, fucking shock feet!
At least this one's weak to magic. Okay, okay. We're getting some big knockbacks now. I wonder how many of all these items I have. Let's see. Items. Raw materials. So you can only carry 99 of a raw material. So I guess... Yeah, we have 99 metal, dented metal boards. God, I need 10 of these? Alright, hold on, what does my quest require? We need one memory alloy, 10 titanium alloy, and 10 broken motors, and the creaky water wheel. We have to go to facade for that. This guy. This guy's gonna take a lot out of us. Because we also probably need the memory alloy to upgrade our shit. He's taking that from us. Heavy weapon such a slow attack. Oh, oh shit, okay. How big is this floor? To our right, there's another area that goes to Junk Keep Depths. That sounds like that's probably the place we're going to go next, but I want to explore all these other rooms first. So many dented metal boards. Exploding bodies do more to me than the actual robots do at times. Is that all? Whoa. There we go. Oh shit. I didn't expect the room that we had already ran through to suddenly just fucking pop turrets up on us. Okay, we're just gonna have to hope that we can get a bomb over here or something. I 
won't be from this room. Why not? That's why. Oh, Jesus. I feel like this is going to be a boss, or a mini-boss. Bring it on! Send a big one, and give me its alloy. Oh. Okay, fine. He just starts off the fight with electric feet. Oh shit, another one? Yeah, we're not even gonna bother going up to him. I know how this goes. Yeah, electric feet. Electric tootsies. Ready to blow me up. Whoa. At least those guys seem to have a much higher chance to give me titanium alloy. And they'll probably respawn when you like leave the whole area and come back. So those are the ways we're supposed to grind the titanium alloy. we have down here. Whoa! The flying monsters! Man, if there's like a conversion table for some of these, like, excess resources, goddamn. We'd be loaded. A merchant passed through the village today. She just kept pulling crazy stuff out of her bag. Her name was Accord. Are we ever gonna meet this Accord? That seems like a, an important article. Okay, this is a big room. Ow! Jesus! I like how the, how the machine tried to run away. You cannot escape my long distance attacks. Mm. 
one C. So we're going back up, but then a whole different area. Huh. One giant hole. Blocked off path. The Spirit of Beast Curse. Beast Curse! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll slap some words on it. Okay, we've been in this room before, or at least one similar to it. And we've got two elevators out. Surface. Is this going to take us to the elevator that was to the side? It did. What the fuck? Oh, it didn't. Well, this is interesting. Well, what are we going to talk to this kid now? Hey, I guess I discovered something after killing a bunch of machines. Pretty impressive stuff you found. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Well, actually, this is gonna take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. What the hell? No sense in you waiting around. That would be great. By the way, what can I help you with? What can I buy from you? I can buy ore from him. That's nice. I'm gonna sell him some dented metal boards. And some strip bolts. Because apparently they might be worth quite a bit. We'll sell 15 of those. Sell 35 of these, 10 of these, 20 of these, and 40 of the dented metal boards. Come back. No sense. That would be. But what can I help you? So, in terms of what I've got, what can I upgrade? The Faith can be upgraded with Silver Ore and Broken Antenna, which you've got. But I want to upgrade my big stuff. Kusanagi. I need Iron Ore. Okay, actually you can buy that from him. No sense. That would be by the way. What can I help you with? Iron Ore. Come back. No sense. That would buy what can I help you with? You can strengthen my weapon. Upgrade the Kusanagi. Come back. Oh wait, the Kusanagi was not the thing I cared about. We were using the Beast Lord. But now we've got the Kusanagi, which does 339 attack, and it's a light weapon. 
so it attacks faster. What are the upgrade details for this stuff? Silver ore, elaborate machine. Gold ore complex machine. Okay, well, we're we're good for now. It appears we have some free time on our hands. What to next? Well, we'll speak with Popola. Maybe Popola's found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Yeah, I was expecting to actually get one of the boss fights for the stone fragments here. But instead, we're, we're upgrading a weapon, and we're going to wait for that, and then maybe when that happens... And when that happens, something will happen to the little boy. Damn it! Their armor's too strong! They seem to have developed some manner of bodily protection. It seems these creatures, too, follow the prescripts of evolution. And I'll just have to overpower them! Stop running, you little bastard! We're just going to ignore the rest of the, the shades up here. We're going to give it a little bit of a check, see if the boss is spawning up in this area. Boss shade, boss shade, boss shade. No boss shade, alright, we're getting out of here. Ow. Come on, little guy, I'm trying to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Stop beating up my little beast. I need him. He goes fast. I could have walked back at this rate. Rumble. Oh, Jesus. Trying to get on this tiny bridge. Ugh. No! Alright, look, we're gonna fucking pull away as if it's a goddamn airplane. So we can hit the runway. <laughs> it's too big and fast for its own good. Okay, good enough. Pardon me, feeling like I should go to Facade or Seafront, start doing my other side missions there, but the the draw of talking to Popola, it's too high. It always feels like the right thing to do, even if it's not. Popola, pop, pop, pop! What's going on? Hey, Popola. Ah, you're back. Have you learned anything more about the Shadow Lord's key? I'm sorry, but it's going to take me some time yet. I see. Well, can I take something off your plate in the meantime? Hmm. Oh, how about this? 
You know the ferryman with the red bag, right? Yes. Well, he's been skipping out on work lately. Yeah. Can I ask you to go to Seafront and check on him? Sure thing. <laughs> it's because... It's because of the whole wife incident. Now he's part of the main storyline. I guess we should go to Seafront. <laughs> 